Cancers! What's up, Cancer Printers? This is the Hubble Space for our Secrets Beyond the Tarot Tarot Group. Thank you guys for all your love, support. It is definitely motivational. <laughs> it keeps me going, for real, for real. Um, if you guys could just take a quick moment to like, share, subscribe. It's just a quick click, click, ding. It'd be greatly appreciated. It takes two seconds. So let's hop into this reading. This is going to be your weekly hubcast from May 24th to May 30th. Yes, I know. I'm getting ahead of myself, y'all. So the first card we got, it says, um, I've been supporting a baby that's not mine. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Um, I made these cards uh, two nights ago. And they were charged under the moon. And so far, they have been accurate as fudge. Okay, so I'm hoping you guys resonate with these messages. Okay, the next one is, can we make it like it was? Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. This is so funny. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and, oh, it ain't funny no more. <laughs> Last one, shortage in funds. So, um, this is this is a clear cut. Uh, it's 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 black and white. Cancer is black and white. It feels like um someone had found out some paternity um a clarification. Someone got some clarity on some type of uh, paternity um this week, or you will be getting that cancer. Definitely feels like uh it uh. On the opposing side, um, you could have found out that a child wasn't yours. You could have um, known that a child wasn't yours, but you stood up for that child. And there may be someone that you're co-parenting with uh, as a result that is kind of overstepping their boundaries or kind of sabotaging um, that dynamic in some way, shape, or form. I don't know why, but I, I definitely feel like, wow, but the shortage of funds card did come out. So it definitely feels like this is money-based. Definitely feels like um, someone could have been a, uh, taking care. Someone could have been in a relationship cancer where they were taking care of a child or children that weren't theirs. And as a result, um, you know, obviously, uh, if, if, if you in fact adopted these children or this child, uh, legally, um, you know, leaving, um, this dynamic would kind of, um, put you in a pickle. <laughs> I'll say that it will kind of put you in a pickle. So someone was waiting on something to prove something, um, Maybe be notes to the courts. They thought that this was your biological child or maybe the um, person you were co-parenting with had uh, made um, court the court believe or someone believe that this these were really your children or this was really your child. But whatever the case is, I definitely feel like now that um, someone obviously wants to leave, says, can we make it like it was? Feels like someone wants to go back to, I heard familiar, familiar territory is what I heard. So maybe someone wants to go back to someone who they once had um, a connection with is what I'm feeling cancer. Maybe this week someone is gravitating towards someone that they once had a connection with. But with this shortage of funds card, it feels like um, they may have been stuck in a situation uh, caring and supporting a child that possibly wasn't theirs. Maybe uh, as a result, they suffered a, for, uh, a shortage of funds because they had to care for these children or this child. Or maybe now that they're uh, now that they want to leave cancer, now that you want to leave, now that they want to leave, this person. Um, Wow, this is a very interesting situation because you could take this a lot of ways because what I'm getting is cancer. You could have been dealing with somebody. You maybe adopted their child, maybe legally or not legally, maybe emotionally. You adopted a child of theirs. Um, it feels like it's a lot of, I don't know why I just get tangled rope, like tangled phone cords is what I'm seeing. And it's hard to, you know, it's hard to get cords untangled. So it's like somebody was trying to untangle all these cords. Maybe somebody felt like entrapped in a situation due to connection with children that weren't theirs or a child that wasn't theirs along with other things. But it, I don't know why court 
keeps coming up for me. So maybe this person couldn't move towards a new connection because of being um, feeling stuck or being stuck financially or having uh, financial obligations elsewhere. Feels like maybe um, or maybe even someone thought that a child was theirs and found out that it wasn't. And now they're trying to um, relinquish themselves from those financial uh, duties or obligations through the courts. But whatever the case, uh, and, and, and I'm, I'm led to say also, this person, Cancer, that you could have been co-parenting with, that you um, helped uh, with their children or that you thought you had children with, definitely feels like... Um, they could be wanting to repair the relationship. They could have been wanting to repair the relationship. You know, we have these children, you know, um, biological or uh, not. We have these children, you know what I mean? They love you. You guys have formulated this bond. Let's just make it work for the kids or we got to try to make it work. We have a family. We've, we've formulated a family. Um, let's, let's, let's try to make it work one more time. But someone cancer, and this could very well be you, We'll say it's you because it's your reading, but someone, a cancer is tired. They are fed up, they're done, or they just, you know, they don't, they're ready to move toward, um, they ready to take a different path, you know, go down a different road in their lives. And as a result, they're kind of cutting the cords, um, of responsibility and support that they were giving to this situation. Um, so they don't want to make it like it was with this person. They, um, they're actually, uh, Wow, on the contrary, they're actually uh, wanting to make something like it was for someone else, maybe someone in their past that they had past dealings with, that you had past dealings with cancer. Um, take the messages that apply. If not, let them fly. But yeah, it definitely does seem like someone, um, there's someone that's trying to hold on to you, cancer, and you're trying to hold on to someone else. Someone's trying to make it like it was with you and you're trying to make it like it was with someone else. And it feels like it, it was hard. There may have been um, some type of halts or pauses um, with you leaving this situation and entering this new facet of your life, Cancer, due to financial uh, uh, a financial shortage because you were supporting a child um, that may or may not have been yours or because... Um, this person may have been butthurt at the fact that you weren't willing to work it out. So they ended up taking you to um, child support just to find out like, hey, okay, well, we need a DNA test. If, if this person is rebuttaling or questioning the fact that this is their child, then let's get a DNA test. And uh, whew, lo, lo, lo and behold, <laughs> it may not, you know, the DNA test may have a... Uh, Gave you that freedom you were looking for, and or you may get those results this week. But whatever the case is, uh, cancer, it feels like uh, um, you're moving toward uh, someone to see if you can uh, change the dynamic of a situation. You are moving out of one situation this week, and you are going towards someone or something else this week um, that you deem a uh, maybe um, fulfilling in one way or another. Yeah. So you on the move this week. Um, you're on the move. Hope that helps, Cancer. That's been your reading for the week of May 24th through the 30th. Bye. <laughs>